Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl right here. I'm back with a haul. We're gonna do a little bit, just a little bit of uh to hauling. I got four boxes on the floor. Some flew out that box. The uh box on the water wood. We'll get there. And I really want to go ahead and haul this stuff so I can open it. And I've been MIA for a minute. So let's get to it. Now see, I got this receipt, you know how to step to it, because I had bought an Ulta. Ulta got their own spin brush. I'm country saying Ulta. 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 I don't know how to say it right. Just Ulta. I mean, because U-L-T-A sound like Ulta. Okay. I had bought their spin brush, and it was weak. Sorry. The batteries wasn't I took it back, and I got the Vagic Planet, Vagic Planet spin brush. I haven't used it yet, but... I hadn't even took it out the box, really, to tell you the truth. But, oh shit, shoot, snaps. It got batteries too, but I ain't got no batteries. I guess I'm gonna go to work tomorrow night. It look like double A. But I took it back because when it spinning, it was like, nah, barely moving. And that wasn't worth my $20. And this was only 32 And it didn't even come with batteries. But the other one, 20, it came with batteries. Anyway, that's besides the point. Anyway, that ain't even part of the haul. What I got from up, so let me tell y'all. I got the Real Technique brush. Have y'all, I mean, sponge. Did anybody besides me notice this damn thing went to $6 when it was $5.70? It was 4 something, went to 5 6 something. I guess they know how good they look. Sponge is. They probably gonna do something to it and fuck it up, mess it up. But I got the sponge. I got me some duo lash glue. Mm -hmm. I got me this Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. I haven't used it. The brush, the brush, the mascara been sitting here waiting on me to do this review. But I will open it because I'm going to use it soon as I get to see it. That's sexy. That's a sexy bottle for a mascara. Anyway. Oh. I'm late on the bus. This is old, I'm sure. But I hadn't seen it. This is what the wand looks like. Okay. That's weird. It got a hook in it. Y'all know that? That hook? Okay. It got a hook. It got a... Y'all seen it? It got a look. Okay. This is Grandiose Extreme. Uh, mine is in zero one. I didn't notice that. I just assumed it was a black, but it looked like it's black. This is what it comes in, and like I said, I'm late on the bus with that. So, put that down there for the trash. Oh, did y'all see that? I got me an iMac. I got the plastic on it, and I got them free. Let me get them. I get them short. So, Apple Store. Some free Beat headphones came with it. I don't know shit about them. But I figured I could use them in editing videos without my boy toy knowing I'm making videos and hearing me talk. Because I don't like that. I just like for y'all to hear my videos, not everybody else. But they came free. And they should have been free. Because that thing there was, it's the 27-inch retina display with Fusion Terabyte. I don't know what the hell all that mean. But I know it got iMovie. And I can do some classy videos. But that's going to be a minute. Because I don't know how in the hell to use it. So this here going on my Dell iPad, on my Dell laptop because I want it up soon. Okay, did I try to get proper? I'm sorry. <laughs> this video, girl, I'm gonna upload it to my laptop because I want it up soon. Anyway, that wasn't even part of the haul. But when I leaned over, I saw it sitting there. Y'all see the plastic still on it? Only country folk leave plastic on that. Even on our furniture, I ain't gonna go there. Okay. And next thing I got was this uh Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Mine is this shade 10. I had it on now. Y'all believe I did that? I never opened a foundation before I can show it to y'all. But this, I did that. Let me zoom in. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's in 10. It dried kind of quick. And it dried like a powder finish before I put powder on it. So, 
I really like this. I really like this. Let me, I mean, I done seen a few videos, so I know most of you guys have probably already seen this. But this is Urban Decay. It's new foundation. It's all nighter. Like I said, mine is in a 10. I'm at, what, NC45 in MAC? Uh, uh, in Lancome? I don't know. I got sandalwood. I got warm honey. Y'all can't use my color because I just, I'm going to put some powder on and make it work if I get the wrong thing. But not no more because I'm in the city. I can take it back. <laughs> but anyway, this is the foundation. Let me show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Today was the first day I used it. And I really like it. It dry to a powdery finish. I mean, it really does. That looks super light. But this is what's on my face now. Y'all tell me what you think. Too light. Girl, you how you pick that? Because, I'm going to tell you why I picked this. Because I read a lot of reviews and it said the foundation oxidizes over a while. And I know I'm super oily. And if it's going to oxidize, that means it's going to get darker. And I've had this on for an hour. It took me an hour to get ready, get this little stuff set up to bring the video. So, I think, go with a shade lighter. If you're looking at something on your hand, I'm just rubbing on it. I ain't did number of rub on it. Now, where is it? That's all I did. Perfect match. I don't know why they make foundation that way, but I just watched the video and said that, so I went with the lighter shade. And for me, in my mind, it's working. And I also got the brush. I haven't used it yet because I didn't get to show this video, but I did use foundation because it wouldn't make it mess up the pass packaging. And this is, can y'all see that? It just say, uh, there we go, right there. Optical. Okay, if y'all can't see, optical blur. F105. I got the brush to go with the foundation. I haven't used it. I don't know how it's going to work because I want you guys to see it. So, y'all have seen it. I can play with it. <laughs> okay, okay. And then, that's all in this bag. But I got this for free because I bought that brush I took back. But I guess I thought they were going to want it back when I took the brush back, but they didn't. And this is I get this is the bag from Ulta and it's a bunch of Ulta products. I'm at seven minutes, y'all. Oh, I didn't see that. A five dollar off coupon. Ulta Beauty Brand Cosmetics. What? Brush purchase. Fifteen dollars more. You get five dollars off for me. Okay. Okay, I'm wasting time. I've been talking too much. This video already is seven minutes. And I didn't even open it. The uh, box. Maybe I should just tie this up the hall and do another video right behind it. So it won't be super long. This bag is full of stuff. For real. Okay. I'm going to pick this up because it's wrapped up. And it's wrapped up good. Oh, this is a polish. A Ulta polish and... I keep, I don't know, it say, I'm going to keep saying Ulta, y'all can keep talking about me. Apple Green Queen or something. That's the color of that polish. I guess I ain't got my auto zoom on. I'm going to be ghetto and turn it on on the video. I don't know why they had this thing, it just cut off by itself. But I'll turn it right back on, we're going to keep on moving. These two little brushes. This one and this one. This was in there. And then it's Ulta Sheer Opal. Ulta Lip Gloss in Sheer Opal. I put it right here. Oh. Okay. Everything matched these so cool. You heard what I said? I like this one though, Sheer Opal. And then this um, Ulta. Mineral setting powder. Okay, I also mineral setting powder. I don't know about this because this is super light, y'all. You can't really see what it looks like because it got a sponge, but that's the color. Okay, a mineral setting powder. And the last thing I saved for last on purpose. Because I'm really interested to know about this. It's the eyeshadow palette. Oh, it just say made in China on the back. I don't know if it just say Ulta in the front. 
I haven't tried, never tried any else with shadows. But these are the shadows. It looks like a blush and a highlighter. Yes. And I bought this last Thursday. So this is if you spend, I think it was $25. I don't remember what I said. I think it's $25 at Ulta. You get the, all this stuff I just opened for free. Okay, y'all. I'm going to shut this video down so I can come right back and do the uh, Sephora haul. And I'm going to try to space them out so y'all don't be looking at me like for 30 minutes in a row. Okay. All right. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye.